M0FXP, welcome to my channel. We're programming the Yesu FT2D using Chirp. I'll put the link in the description to download Chirp and you also need the SCU19 cable. Here's the link here and then when you go down, click download and you'll get this file that you can open and you end up with a window that's like this, but it will be blank. So to read the radio on the FT2D, you hold down and turn on. So hold down the DISP button turn on like so and you have the clone screen and on the bottom you can see receive and send then you go radio download from the radio and you'll get a little window here up here there you go not very big is it <laughs> let's make it bigger there you are you can see it's bigger and you want to make sure you've got the right com port selected so right click device manager and you can use Windows 11 you just add an older driver double click we're on COM10 if you want to change it to an older driver because you're getting an error just right click update driver and then click browse computer for drivers and then let me pick and then you choose an older driver and then Windows 11 will work so let's um, click OK and you've got the instructions there to do what I just said, which is turn off, hold down DISP, and then turn on radio. And then it says click the OK on, on the computer, not the radio. Click OK on the computer, and then click send when you are going to send your, pro, your current programming software from the radio. And I recommend you always at least read it from the radio the first time that you use this program or any any program like ADMS is a free program as well and then you've got RT systems that you pay for right we're here and uh, all good I can't see any digital channels of transfer but I don't think it's that important if you select there's a fusion let's just go the mode it says AM and WFM but because the FT2D has AMS, automatic select, you can still program in, you'll say your Fusion hotspot. Let's do that. 4438.57.5. Four, oh, we're on the wrong page, yeah. Double click. 438.575 is my hotspot. We'll call it hotspot. No tone required for a hot spot. It's on FM and what we do, we'll send that to the radio and what will happen is the radio when it gets a digital signal will just switch. So, and then let's say you want to add a repeater like one for, oh, let's go back to the bottom. One, four, five, dot, six hundred, call it GB3WR. Set it as tone. We want a minus shift. Six six hundred we want here, so let's change that to a six. Now it's either five it might not be there, it might be six. Let's go back out and look at one we've done. Sit there is naught point six, so let's go down naught and then you want the six here just copy the other ones that you've done 0 0.6 if you look at the top the 7.6 for the 70 centimeter shift we've got that in there fm you can set the power and then to send you the radio is in the right mode let's go hopefully you won't have to reboot it upload to radio got the same instructions Click OK, follow the instructions, and this time when I press OK, you're meant to send receive. So click OK and then receive. Now I've got an error there, probably need to just reboot it, but you get the idea of how this works. So thanks for watching my channel, I think it's free, so give it a go. Obviously you've got the ADMS 12 software. I notice that it's going, it is working now, I just redid it. And now I'm sending the information from the PC to the radio. Which is pretty good. But anyway, you got the idea how to play with this. ADMS 12. Let's see what the FT2D one is numbered at. 
Yeah, it looks like it's numbered at number. You can go to this website, I'll put a link in. It's ADMS 8 by the looks of it. So give that a go because that's free as well. So thanks for watching my channel. Thanks very much to Chirp as well. And uh, we always like setting for free. 7-3, catch you on out. All the best.